Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amanda Dawn and I want to help you manifest a life that is going to make you actually want to get out of bed in the morning. Today we are going to talk about the bridge of incidents and particularly what it is and how you can use it to help yourself to let go and allow yourself to be led to the manifestation of whatever it is that you desire. Before I get into it though, I do want to tell you that I I am a manifestation coach and I would love to help you to manifest the life of your dreams. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching with me, then just please place a comment below and say, I'm interested, and then I will reach out to you if we can get started on that. All right, so let's get into the actual video. So what is the bridge of incidents? The bridge of incidents is, well, the term itself, bridge of incidents, is popular um, because of Neville Goddard. He was someone who taught manifestation, like, I think maybe in the 50s? Don't quote me on that though. But he talked about something called the bridge of incidents, which basically is how once you have manifested something, whether it be through affirming or visualizing, scripting, whatever method it is that you like to use that works for you, once you have done that and you are now in the process of getting the manifestation of your desire, something called the bridge of incidents will happen between when you visualize and when you actually see the manifestation pop up in your reality. And the bridge of incidents is something that you cannot force, you cannot create it yourself. You can't really, it's something that you can't really predict. Basically, it's not up to you to figure out what incidents are on the bridge of incidents to your manifestation. I mean, you can kind of guess. You, if something happens to you and it feels like it's getting you closer to your desire, then you can say, hey, yeah, that's bridge of incidents, awesome, I'm on it, I'm on my way to my manifestation. That's great, go ahead. But what you don't wanna do is kind of expect certain things to happen as part of the bridge of incidents to your manifestation. So I, of course, love, love, love examples Examples are the easiest way for me to explain these really complex topics. I feel like sometimes it's hard for me to explain these things because they're complex and there's a lot to them. But let me use an example from my own life of a bridge of incidents that got me from visualizing or deciding, intending to the actual physical manifestation. So ever since I was a little girl, I've been obsessed with mermaids and I was one of those kids that would spend hours in the pool by myself just flopping around in the water pretending I was a mermaid. Didn't really think much of it, like, oh, I want to be a mermaid when I grow up. I never thought I wanted to be a mermaid or anything. You know, I wasn't that that obsessed where like I have mermaid stuff everywhere, but like I've always really felt drawn to mermaids. I'm a Pisces, I love the ocean, so just something about mermaids always fascinated me. So that was when I was pretty little, but you know, fo fast forward more and more and more into the future. Just recently, maybe like six months ago, I was just scrolling on YouTube looking for some calming music to listen to, and I clicked on a video of like, it, it was like meditative, calming, relaxing music, but like the image on the video was this like mermaid swimming around. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. So I clicked on it and I was listening to it. And I remember watching the video and just thinking like, oh, it would be really cool to be a mermaid. Like, it would be really cool to get into mermaid stuff again. Oh, get get more in touch with my with my Piscean nature. I just moved to, right near the beach. So I'm like, oh, it would be nice to spend more time near the beach. Um, 
I think that would be really good for me. I think I would really like that. So that is the beginning of the bridge of incidents. Remember, at the beginning of this bridge, I had intended it would be really nice to be a mermaid. I think it would, I would, I'd like to get back into mermaid stuff. It, wouldn't it be so cool to be mermaidy? <laughs> if that's even a word. At the time, I was looking for work and performance because I am an opera singer and I am an actress, so I was looking for a job as some kind of, or some kind of role to act in. And I heard about this role as a queen. I really, really wanted to be this queen in this production, so I decided to audition. A couple days after I had auditioned and was waiting around for a callback for this role, I was driving by the aquarium in my city and I saw that they had live mermaids there. And I was like, oh my gosh, they have live mermaids there? I would love to be, wouldn't that be so cool to be a live mermaid and get paid to be a mermaid? I didn't even know that was a thing, honestly. I had never heard of an aquarium having live mermaids before. And I remember just like saying to my, my family who I was with when I saw the sign, I said to them, you know, I'm waiting for this queen callback, but you know, if I don't get it, that's okay, cause I can just be a mermaid. Look, the aquarium has mermaids. I'll just go be a mermaid. But I really still, still did want that queen role. So I was waiting around for that queen role. And I was waiting around and waiting around and starting to feel really discouraged until finally I got that dreaded email saying, thank you so much for your interest in for auditioning, but we have decided to go with someone else. <sighs> that was painful. But, I have extreme radical faith in this universe and I have radical faith in my higher self and I have so much trust that I am always guided on my highest timeline. So, I said, that's okay that I didn't get it. I mean, you know, of course it really sucks to be rejected for something you auditioned for, but you know what? Something better is out there for me. Something that's more aligned with me, with who I really am is out there for me. Plus, you know what? If they don't think I'm queen enough, they don't know what a queen is because, I mean, I am a queen regardless of if I'm a queen in a production. You know what I mean? And then I remember that I had said that I, you know what? If I don't get the queen role, I'm just gonna go be a mermaid. But I checked online at the aquarium to see if they were hiring for mermaids and I did not see listed anywhere that they were hiring. So I was a little bummed about that. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, maybe it's because they've already hired everyone and maybe I can just apply next year. It's fine. So soon after, I ended up getting a job doing catering for this small, small town restaurant. And lo and behold, the place that I was going to be catering at was the aquarium. So I didn't really think much of it. I, I, I just, I kind of forgot about the whole mermaid thing. You know, I was like, whatever, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I need a job to pay my bills. So I'm just gonna take this little catering job. And then we ended up doing the aquarium. So we catered at this aquarium once every week. And through doing that, I started to get to know the events coordinator lady there and I was just going with the flow you know doing this catering thing trying to make the the most of it and just trusting that you know what I'm still being led towards something really wonderful then one day I was at home and I was just bored and I got this like idea ah, let me go check on indeed see what kind of jobs they have you know maybe I'll I'll get a job at a restaurant waitressing. Maybe I'll go get a job at, at some kind of like really fancy restaurant because I've done fine dining before. Maybe I'll get a job doing that and I'll make you know a lot of money and tips and whatever. Well, let's just see what they have on Indeed. So I went on Indeed and I was just scrolling and then all of a sudden I see in my recommended jobs 
that the aquarium was hiring for mermaids. Oh my gosh, I couldn't press apply fast enough. I was like, I'm applying right now. This is, this is it. I know this is it. This is gonna happen. There's no way that this is not going to happen. This is going to happen. I'm going to get hired at this aquarium to be a mermaid. Now, mind you, I have never been a mermaid anywhere. I've only ever just liked mermaids and thought mermaids were cool and I like the aesthetic of them, but I've never like put on the mermaid tail. I've never dr even dressed up as a mermaid for Halloween or any of that stuff. But you know what? I was like, this job is mine because Regardless of whether or not I get hired, I am a mermaid in my heart, so whatever. <laughs> so I applied. And the next day, I had to work catering at the aquarium again, and I was talking with the events lady, and I just was like, ooh, guess what? I just applied to be a mermaid here. And she was like, oh, really? My office is, I literally share an office with like the mermaid manager, like the mermaid trainer lady. So I'll make sure and put a good word in for you. And I was like, yes, thank you. And I knew it was happening. I just, I just knew that, that it was happening, that I am going to be a mermaid. So at this time I was so convinced that I was going to be a mermaid, I started going on Pinterest and looking up like mermaid things and like going on YouTube and YouTubing how to do your makeup like a mermaid and like YouTubing like mermaids at aquariums to see like what it, what it, what, what it would be like to be a mermaid at aquarium because I just knew that the job was mine because I am a mermaid. And then I got the call for an interview to be the mermaid and I interviewed and right on the spot I got the job. I literally could now say that I get paid to be a mermaid. I can write on my taxes form or whatever, what's your occupation? Mermaid. <laughs> so my bridge of incidents brought me from simply just having the idea of it would be really cool to be a mermaid to actually being a mermaid. I did not know how it was gonna happen and when these events, different incidents on this bridge occurred. I didn't really even know that they were part of this master plan of infinite intelligence to make me into a mermaid simply because I intended it and on the way between me intending that I would like to be a mermaid and actually becoming a mermaid in some capacity I did not say I have to be a mermaid like I really want to be a mermaid this has to happen I'll be so upset if this doesn't happen this better happen I'm gonna be so sad I'm gonna be so screwed if I don't get this job I better get this job I was just like this job is for me. I know it's for me. It's mine. I'm going it's going to happen for me and if it doesn't well, I'm a mermaid anyway. That's radical faith. That is having so much faith that you're not worried about how it's going to happen and you're not really worried about if it will happen. You're not even worried about yourself if it doesn't happen, but you just have a firm conviction that this is something that you truly desire in your heart and therefore it is something that you truly deserve in that you will have it and that you are it. You are it already. So if you're trying to manifest something, it is not going to help you to try to predict how something is going to manifest for you or to try to force how it's going to manifest for you. All you need to do is hold that vision of what you want to manifest to become the person that already has that manifestation up here and in here and to trust the bridge of incidents to bring you to the full manifestation of your vision, of your desire. It's like riding a wave, like you jump on the wave, you can't really control which way the wave waves you can't control how fast this wave is going all you can do is just ride it 
If you're trying to manifest something, you can't control how fast it comes to you. You can't control exactly how it's going to come to you and all the little different pieces and events between you and your desire. You can't control any of that. You just got to know that you are on that wave that is bringing you to your desire and you're just gonna ride it. When you insist on things happening a certain way in a certain time frame for you, you really, really limit infinite intelligence's ways that it could bring it to you. For example, if you're trying to manifest a specific person and you are insisting that you are only going to be able to manifest your specific person if they send you a text message and pour out their heart to you then you're severely limiting the the all the different ways that infinite intelligence could bring you your specific person maybe there's a, a better and an easier way that that person and you could come together other than them texting you pouring their heart out your mind can't conceive of all the infinite numbers of ways that infinite intelligence could bring you together with your specific person, but you insist on it happening just this way. They have to text me. They have to text me and tell me that they love me and that they've always loved me. And yeah, you can manifest something that specific, but in my experience, doing something like that really limits the ways that the universe could bring me to what I truly want, which is that specific person. And so things end up getting delayed and it usually takes longer to get my manifestation. But if I simply just know exactly what it is that I want, and then from there, I just trust that, hey, I know what I want, therefore my higher self knows what I want, and the universe knows what I want, God knows what I want, and I am being led to what I want. I don't know how I am, but I know that I am. I can't predict what's going to come next that's going to bring me to my desire, but I know that I'm being brought to my desire. Radical faith, radical faith, radical faith works. Trust, trust in the process. I know it's hard because we're human and we like to control things and our egos like to control things and our egos like to be safe but just to the best of your ability trust if you start to doubt just shake it off and let it go no i trust i trust that i'm being brought towards wonderful things that i am always being led on my highest timeline and so it will be all right so i hope that this video was helpful i'll make more videos about the bridge of incidents in the future but i just wanted to give a little bit of an introduction if you found this video helpful please give it a like and please comment as well if you have any questions about anything that i have talked about in this video and again if you would like manifestation coaching with me then please check out the link in the description box Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to learn more about how to manifest effortlessly a life that will make you want to get out of bed in the morning. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!